Hey there, gang, and welcome to the locker room. Coach Giggs here, and today's message, passion. Take this life and love it. You know, when a leader reaches out in passion, he is usually met with an answering passion, said John Maxwell. Anyone can dabble, but once you've made that commitment, your blood has that particular thing in it, it's very hard for people to stop you, said Sylvester Stallone. Certainly a great example of this. A guy who got a script and refused to let them do that movie unless he was the main actor. And that was Rocky, as we all know. Have you been around people who are not in a good headspace and their negativity is very obvious? How does it make you feel when this happens? If you were already struggling, somebody, give me a knife. You're feeling worse. But if you were in a good headspace and then someone came over to you and you somehow through your energy brought them up, you would come up with them. We need more of this in the world today. The people want to become are the people that when others are around us, they feel better. The people you and I want to become are the people that when others get around us, they feel better. How do you do this? Well, you start by smiling and being grateful to be alive. Be grateful for all the small things that you might be taking for granted. This will allow you to have a great attitude throughout the day. Little things like your sense of smell. Are you appreciating your sniffer? What if you couldn't smell anything? What would life be like? Well, if you like the smell of roses, flowers, a good sauce, a good bottle of wine, and you no longer could have that joy, what would it be like? You've taken it for granted. I'm saying this to you because I lost my sniffer. I was sleeping in a bed in my Miami home and there was water dripping down the back of which I had no idea about it. And this created mold inside there which got inside my sinuses and created lots of disease up there such that they couldn't fix it. I had to go to a specialist in New York City, a guy by the name of Dr. Mark Jacobs, who did multiple surgeries so that I could get my smell back. And when that surgery was done after a few days and I went home and I smelled my cologne, I about cried because I hadn't been smelling anything for so long. And this went on for a couple of days that I would literally walk around <laughs> Oh, did you smell that? I would tell everybody, can you believe that? And they're looking at me like, you're really weird, Eric. Yeah, because I lost my sniffer and now I got it back. Yeah. Oh, but then a few days later, it was gone. And the doctor said, we have to do more surgery. I said, I don't care whatever we got to do. I want my smell back. I had a motorcycle accident, almost claimed my life, paralyzed, waist down. I can't run. I can't play tennis. I can't do a lot of things that most of you can do because of this motorcycle accident. But am I going to let that get me down? Hell no. I appreciate the fact that I've been able to get up again. I'm a walking miracle. I do things they said that I couldn't do because I refuse to accept what I was told. Now, I can't run a marathon. I'm okay with that. I can walk. I can stand here and do this locker room. I can dance. Yeah. Maybe not as good as I used to, but I still can dance. So take this life that you have and love it. Stop feeling sorry for yourself, for whatever didn't work out or whatever you don't have, whatever relationship, and just be grateful for what you do have and what you can do. Folks, you are, yes, you who are watching a beautiful miracle. And all you need to do is love yourself and others will then fall madly in love with you. Do this by being grateful, having an incredibly positive, hopeful attitude, and you'll be part of the solution that this world needs right now. Thanks for joining me in today's broadcast. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, share the message. 
And if you want to know more about my company, click that left button. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you in tomorrow's broadcast.